example evaluate integration of e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 whole square into z minus 2 of dz with the circle mod z is equal to 3. So the given integral we have to take it as it is. From this you choose the numerator as f of z. So but 1 upon z plus 1 square into z minus 2 we need to separate this by using a partial fraction. So 1 upon z plus 1 square into z minus 2. So this can be written as this z plus 1 square can be written a upon z plus 1 plus b upon z plus 1 whole square plus c upon z minus 2. So you need to simplify using partial fraction. So if you put z is equal to minus 1 here, so we will get the b value as minus 1 by 3. Similarly, when you put z is equal to 2, we will get c value as 1 upon 9. And when you put z is equal to 0, we will get a is equal to minus 1 upon 9. So therefore, apply the value of a, b, c in the given partial different uh, partial uh, fraction form what we have prepared so the left hand side as it is right hand side a value b value c value you have to substitute and rearrange it and before rearranging multiply e raised to 2z on both side here left hand side because the given function f of z what we have chosen is it is e raised to 2z we need to multiply both the side so here 1 into e raised to 2z so left hand side so minus 1 upon 9 uh, will keep outside into uh, e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 plus into minus is minus 1 upon 3 times e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 square plus 1 upon 9 into e raised to 2z upon z minus 2. So once we get we have to integrate uh, take the integration on both the side. So taking integration both side will get this formation. So we see that. Uh, on the right hand side of this equation we have three integrals first integral second integral and third integral so each integral having different pole different point here z plus 1 means the value of a is minus 1 here z plus 1 means again value of a will be minus 1 z minus 2 means value of a will be out here 2 so here in the equation 1 the points are I am writing so because, because of the first integral the value of z which is also nothing but a is nothing but minus 1 from the integral number 2 so value of z is again out here z plus 1 means value of a will be minus 1 and from the integral th third one integral so z value will be out here plus 2 so now first and third you just see here first and third we don't have raised to power any here we don't have raised but here raised to power 2 is there so first and third we need to apply Cauchy's integral formula and for the second one we need to apply a uh, generalized Cauchy's integral formula so first I will solve uh, first integral and the third integral by using Cauchy's integral formula so Cauchy's integral formula is given by f of z upon z minus a into dz is equal to 2 pi i of f of a so on simplification so the first integral I have taken first integral what is first integral integration of I will keep minus 1 upon 9 outside only only will pick only what here e raised to 2z upon z plus 1 into dz here so here you we need to apply here so it will become out here so z here a value is minus 1 so 2 pi i a value is out here minus 1 this a value we need to apply in f of z our f of z is nothing but e raised to 2z replace z is equal to minus 1 here so it becomes e raised to minus times 1 that is e raised to minus 2 so therefore you replace f of minus 1 as e raised to minus 2 so which can be rewrite as 2 pi i e raised to minus 2 can be written as 1 upon e raised to 2 similarly <coughs> We need to simplify third integral because third integral can be solved by only a Cauchy's integral. So third integral will be simplified. So replace uh, a is equal to 2. So replace in this 2 in the f of z. So f of 2 will become e raised to 2 ra into 2. So e raised to 4. So we got third integral result. Now we need to find the value of uh, second integral by using generalized Cauchy's integral formula. So now second integral of equation 1 we need to apply generalized Cauchy's integral formula. So here the formula is 
f of z upon z minus a raised to n plus 1 into dz 2 pi i upon n factorial f raised to n upon a. So here a is minus 1 and n is 1. So if you compare because if you see here so what we have so uh, raised to 2 2 can be written as 1 plus 1. So therefore the value of n will be 1 and uh, a is nothing but minus 1. So therefore the left hand side and right hand side 2 pi i upon 1 factorial. So because of n is 1 f dash of a means the given f of z we have to differentiate only once. So therefore integration of uh, integ uh, we have to integrate uh, differentiate 1. So e raised to integration of this will be you have to rewrite it but differentiation of f dash of a that is we have to differentiate f dash of z at once. So di differentiation of f dash of z is what here e raised to 2z into 2 that is 2 times e raised to 2z. So this value you need to apply here <coughs> that is 2 pi i upon 1 factorial is 1 f dash of minus 1 but we need to find what is f dash of z first already we have taken so it is 2 times e raised to 2z here we need to apply z as minus 1 so on simplification we will get what here 2 upon e raised to plus 2 so therefore 2 pi i into 2 upon e raised to 2 so 2 2 is a 4 pi i upon e raised to 2 so we got all the three integrals of equation So result is finally here. So we have three integral results. So all the three integral result of right hand side of equation we need to simplify. So 1 upon 9. So first result of your int first integral 2 pi i upon e raised to 2 and uh, third integral result and the sec middle one the sec second one I have simplified. So we have to simplify here. So it will become a minus 2 upon 9 pi i upon e raised to 2 minus 4 upon 3 pi i upon e raised to 2 plus 2 upon 9 pi i upon e raised to 4. So e raised to 4 but here we have upon uh, 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 divided by e raised to 2 e raised to 2. So these are the like terms. So I can if you simplify so pi i upon e raised to 2 is common from both these two. So minus 2 upon 9 and minus 4 upon 3 will become minus 14 upon 9 and this plus times 2 upon 9 uh, pi i e raised to 4 as it is. So therefore, so take common 2 upon 9 pi i will get minus 7 upon e raised to 2 plus e raised to 4 or pi i upon 9 you arrange e raised to 4 first minus 7 upon e raised to 2. So this is the final solution here.